Well, let's see if the second time is a charm. I can start this uh, video all over again. It is a nasty winter day up here in hell and upstate New York here. And on Sunday, January <clears throat> 15th, 2022, but we're going to go down to the Peruvian Amazon rainforest in the summer of 2009. For the few of you still following me on, uh, on Peruvian Plunge, particularly through the chapters that I'm putting out there now, uh, chapters like 11 through 14, which take place up here at the top of this kapok tree, otherwise known as a Saba tree. And these are the only photographs of me that were taken in that entire year. In that entire summer, these are the photographs. I want to thank Miranda for uh, climbing up to the top of this kapok tree to get these photographs. And so what, uh, it's, it's very difficult to uh, tell in, uh, in this photo what's going on behind me here. Uh, what this is in the uh, background is actually the branch of the tree where I am sitting is I am sitting 11 stories above the ground, above the actual floor of the forest. I'm, looks like I might be loading a, a bowl there. And so what you're seeing here are, are the tops of the trees, the canopy, the regular canopy of the forest. So the tops of these trees are, are actually themselves 50 or 60 feet above the forest floor and, it, and it's such a closed canopy it's it's very disorienting when you're sitting there looking down uh, you can't see the ground below you what you're seeing about 40 feet 40 maybe even 50 feet below you are the tops of the the small the smaller trees which make the main blanket of canopy and then you have a few species such as the kapok sometimes known as the saber tree which are called emergence and they actually emerge from the top of the canopy uh, they they push through, they, they have no branches on their trunks, so that you have these naked trunks that uh, somehow manage to uh, ram themselves up through the uh, top of the canopy, so they, they emerge through the top of the main canopy and once they get through the top and hit all of that sun, then they spread out. So you can see these branches spreading out. So they, they get up above the canopy and they spread out in all directions. And I would say each branch is, you know, about 50 feet long and it, so you have about a 100 foot diameter roughly a 100 foot diameter for each of these giant emergent trees and they're like umbrellas sticking up above the main canopy so all of this down below is the tops of the trees. I mean, it's kind of, it, 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 you know, it's, it's hard to wrap your head around uh, what it feels like to be sitting out on a branch of a tree 11 stories. You can kind of see how wide the branch is. So this is the branch 
if you're reading chapter 13 canopy breakdown this is where uh, this is where I was lying uh, when I had my canopy breakdown and this burl of of um, this is the piece of log, that burl of log uh, that I'm talking about uh, in canopy breakdown that I am sitting on here. And uh, so anyway, guys, I mean, it, it's just so hard to to wrap your head around. If you go down, if you visit a rainforest that still has a closed canopy, you, you actually don't see that much life on the ground. There's not a whole lot of action going on down on the forest floor. <coughs> Where the action is, is up here. Uh, anywhere from 50 to 120 feet above the ground is where all of the, the action is. Uh, but unless you're able to get up there uh, into the action, you, you miss the whole point of a rainforest. I mean, every one of these trees is its own ecosystem. Uh, this Kapok tree uh, that I was in, good Lord, I, I mean, it's, it's an entire ecosystem in every one of those trees. And so you got to, you know, when you hear these stories about a hundred acres of rainforest being obliterated off the face of the planet, I mean, you're talking about thousands of individual ecosystems being uh, wiped off the face of the planet. Uh, the, the, the scale of carnage and tragedy uh, that, that is going on, you know, behind the headlines, it, it's... Uh, you know, it's truly a testament to why humans need to go. That what we're doing to the tropical rainforest with our eyes wide open, it's, uh, it, 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 it's, this, it's probably, I would consider it the single biggest, you know, direct crime against nature that humans... Uh, are committing uh, to walk in to these primeval old growth rainforests with bulldozers and chainsaws and dynamite and it's it, 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 it's a level of evil that you know there, there's no other there's no other solution except for humans to go it is time for us to go. And uh, I learned that I was on this very branch. The day I became a doomer, which you can read about in chapter 13, Canopy Breakdown, when any hope I had for this planet was abandoned once and for all and forever. And I became a doomer and an eco-Nazi and understood that as long as one human walks this planet, we're fucked. And this is where I was sitting when I figured that out, if I ever make a... a book cover for Peruvian Plunge that will be it. So get out there and enjoy being a canopy dwelling monkey while you still can. My guys.